Hello and welcome to today's video. On the workbench today I've got my X-Tech quad power supply with my power controller modification. Uh, you can watch previous videos, I explain how that all works. And um, this video we're going to show the new features that I've added to the power supply. So I'll go ahead and turn it on here. And of course the main reason why I wanted to modify it is you can't, unless the supplies are on, you can't actually adjust anything. So we can turn on the supplies, but my relays keep the, the posts isolated until you're ready. So for like adjusting, it's like, oh no, we just destroyed something that's supposed to be powered 12 volts. So the whole point is so that I can come in here and adjust this. So the display is active, but the outputs are not live yet. And then to flip them on, you just click the buttons and uh, that gets you all of your supplies up and running. So that's pretty simple. I've showed that before. Um, there's nothing new there. You can uh, can do that. You still can click the button to emergency turn off. Click again. You get all of them on. So that still works exactly the same. A uh, new feature that I've added. It now stores the current state. So if I said I had I had these two guys on, and I go ahead and power off the supply. When I turn it back on, it remembers that those two supplies were on and then I can just click the button and be back up where I was before. So that works um, really well too. And then, um, so what I'm doing is I'm just monitoring the incoming voltage with the A to D converter, and then when it drops below like six volts, I quickly save the, the state of all of the uh, supplies to one byte and flash. And then when I reboot, or when I power back up, I just read that byte out. So that works really well. Um, uh, let's see what else. Oh, and now I've got um, power cycling. So <clears throat> Say you're working on something and you're troubleshooting some intermittent startup issues. Uh, a lot of times I have like motor controllers things like that People are like oh it, every once in a while it has issues So this way you can catch it. And you don't have to sit here and click the button You can just press and hold the button and it'll start flashing and then when you let go It'll turn on and then so 1001 1002 1001 1002 and now it'll cycle at that rate. So you're essentially programming the on time and the off time when you do that. So 1001, 1002, 1001, 1002. So it'll just turn on and off like that forever. So we'll go ahead and uh, kill it. So that stops it from doing it. Um, but all, all of them support it. So uh, this one doesn't have anything hooked up to it, but if I press and hold it and then uh, one second on, one second off, and it'll just sit there and toggle at that rate that you essentially programmed in. And they can be really long too, so you can press and hold and then go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then it'll sit there and toggle at that rate. So if you count for five seconds, that one should do it. Um, I think it's cooler when all of them are going, so I'll go ahead and fire them all up here. <laughs> so wait for it to get hot and then flip it off and then do the same thing for this guy <laughs> so yeah it, it, it'll probably wear out the relays really fast but um, they're all independent of each other so that can cause problems but um, uh, still functions like if I hit the green button everybody shuts off <clears throat> it's still your emergency power off and it stopped doing that but I can actually do everybody simultaneously. So if I hold this button and then do 1001, 1002, 1003, 1001, 1002, 1003, then we'll get everybody simultaneously clicking on and off. So you can add whatever delay you want between the supplies. Maybe you want to do like a, you know, startup sequencing, power supply sequencing, something like that. Like right now, it's all programmed through the buttons. It doesn't have any computer interface. But if you want to get more sophisticated, um, my little board does have a USB port on it. So you could actually, I don't have any code in there to run the USB yet, but um, you could hook it up to the PC and you could program uh, you know, a power sequence and it, it can do it. So anyways, that's, uh, that's all the new features. And um, go ahead and call it done for now. Just going to put the cover on it and uh, find a home for it up on the uh, workbench here. And um, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. 
But, uh, <laughs> stop from clicking. But, uh, yeah, it works. I like it. Anyways, uh, this is uh, what I set out to do, and it um, it's doing uh, exactly what I wanted. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.